With the success of Tales of the Jedi, I thought it would be cool to speculate on the storylines for future seasons, if any. Obviously we don't know for sure, but I would love to see further seasons of this series, so let's speculate. As always, make sure to like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. Now, when I was thinking about future Tales of the Jedi character arcs, I thought about stories that would be thematically linked. Similar to how Dooku and Ahsoka were both Jedi who eventually left the Order after becoming disillusioned. However, we see a drastic difference in the paths they follow after leaving the Order. So who are two Jedi that could be linked together in this way? My choice, and two Jedi I would love to see, are that of Yoda and Qui-Gon Jinn. Specifically Qui-Gon Jinn training with the Shamans of the Wills. We don't have a ton of information on Qui-Gon Jinn's Force teachings, how he discovered the shamans, and how he retained his consciousness after death. In the book Master and Apprentice, Qui-Gon Jinn studies Jedi prophecy thanks in part to his master, Dooku. But I'm curious how he learned about the shamans of the wills. This could be linked with him teaching Yoda and Yoda gaining a deeper understanding of the Force. We can see a lot of this happen after Revenge of the Sith while Yoda establishes his home on Dagobah. One thing I loved about these two Jedi was how different they were in beliefs. Yoda was very rigid and strict in his thoughts of the Force, especially the unifying Force. This obviously prevented him from being flexible and evolving his teachings. This ultimately allowed the Jedi to be blindsided by the Sith, who evolved in their teachings and philosophy. Now granted he was still the most powerful of the Jedi Order at the time, and wise beyond many, he still failed when it came to challenging the dark side. With Qui-Gon Jinn, he believed in the Living Force and how essential it was to pay attention to it. Not only that, he challenged the teachings of the Jedi Order as well as its rules. A lot of his beliefs were due in part to Count Dooku's teachings. Qui-Gon, at one point, was even offered a seat on the Jedi Council, despite Yoda disapproving of this appointment. However, he ultimately chose to pass on that offer because he trusted in the Force and the path that it could lead him on. Not only that, he didn't like that the Jedi Council was so political and wrapped up in the Senate's politics. If he were stuck sitting on the Council, he'd never learn what the Force had for him. Qui-Gon Jinn's rebellious nature towards the Jedi Order's rules and his trust in the Living Force gave him the opportunity for the Force to teach him how to become a Force ghost. It also led him to the discovery of Anakin Skywalker, and had he been trained by Qui-Gon, he would have never fallen to the dark side. These two Jedi are still so mysterious and have a lot of really cool Force mythos they could teach us Star Wars nerds. The mystery of the Force is also such a big part of Star Wars, so exploring it more with these characters would be awesome. Although we don't know for sure if they will even cover Jedi in the next season, for all we know it could be Tales of the Sith, which frankly I would love. We could get a Darth Bane or Darth Plagueis, or even Darth Revan, and that would be absolutely crazy. Other Jedi I'd like to see, in no particular order, are Leia, Finn, Quinlan Voss, and young Yaddle during the High Republic. Enough fan speculation from me, let me know who you'd like to see in the comment section below. Like and subscribe, have an amazing day, and may the Force be with you.